Well, meantime, inflation is now the top issue for voters. A new Fox News poll shows 82% of those surveyed say they are extremely or very concerned about runaway prices. Let's bring in Maria Bartiromo, anchor of Mornings with Maria on Fox Business and Sunday Morning Futures on Fox News. Maria, great to see you. I, I did some research. I mean, you know, it, it affects everybody. That's why everybody's concerned about it, because it affects everybody when you're paying five bucks a gallon for gas out, out the back door here. But I want to say that back in, back in May, we did some research. The Biden White House, the economic policymakers, Federal Reserve at that time were saying inflation was under control. And now four months later, it, it doesn't appear to be under control. No, it's not under control, Trace. Thanks very much for having me this morning. Look, the bottom line is the Federal Reserve and the uh, administration have been saying that inflation pressures are transitory or temporary. We're going to hear from the Federal Reserve this week. They have a two-day meeting, and they will answer questions about how temporary it has been, given we are seeing price spikes on all sorts of kitchen ta table items like chicken, commodities. Uh, the price of lumber has come down, but many expect it to continue going up uh, and resume the uh, spike because we've got supply disruptions. COVID has shut down a number of uh, manufacturing facilities, and that has uh, the price uh, being uh, pressured higher because you can't get the supply. But I just want to point to what's going on in the market today because we have a, a sell-off underway. The market's going to open in 10 minutes, and you're going to see the market open down 600 points. Why? Because there are worries mm -hmm. about the impact of a debt crisis in China. There's the second largest property developer, a company called Evergrande, and it is missing its debt payments. The CCP has already come out and said this company will not be able to pay its debt payments, which one payment is due this upcoming Thursday. Investors are speculating on whether or not U.S. banks are going to be on the hook for some of this. So Beijing has to make a decision. Is it going to come in and save Evergrande, pay these debt payments? Is it going to cherry pick and, and, and pay other debt payments of other uh, property developers? But Evergrande is China's second largest property developer, and that is what's going on today. And don't forget what's happening in Washington. We have nine legislative days left to deal with the debt ceiling being raised, two massive yeah. packages, infrastructure, and the reconciliation package that Nancy Pelosi wants to see uh, voted on by September 27th. All of that yeah, is playing I out in a big way on Wall Street today. I want to put a couple of these quotes up. These are in inflation of goods since back in January. Let's run these down very quickly. Car and truck rental up 73 plus percent. Gasoline up 43 percent. Hotels 24 percent. You get the picture here of what's happening across the country. But here's the news. Fox News poll conditions of the economy. Put this up because this is back in January. 55 percent said, yep, excellent or good. Now that number 30 percent. That is a significant drop. And that has got to be concerning for the Biden White House, Maria. Well, look, the, the bottom line, Trace, is the fact that the definition of inflation is the following. Too many dollars chasing too few goods. How many dollars are we up to? The reconciliation package is going to cost upwards of $5 trillion because they've got gimmicks in there that they say these programs go away next year. Meanwhile, they're not going away. So it's much more expensive than the $3.5 mm -hmm. trillion. This is one reason inflation is taking off. We've got a crisis at the border, a crisis in Afghanistan. Let's hope we are not moving toward an economic crisis as well. Very, very quickly, lastly, Maria, the U.S. natural gas price is going up. I mean, over the past, this is, I would put this on the screen as well. Uh, at Friday at $5, a little over $5 per million BTUs. They were about half that six months ago, up 17% this month. Your final thoughts on this, Maria? Well, this is largely about supply. Again, when you don't have the supply and you've got the demand moving up, prices move higher. This has been uh, an area that we're watching because we normally yeah. don't see such moves in natural gas. But this is going to affect your home heating oil. And that's just one more piece of the puzzle that inflation is hitting us all on the kitchen table items that we need to buy every day. And for natural gas, this is the off season. Imagine what happens as we get closer yeah. to... Uh, fall and winter. Maria, great to see you as always. Thank you. You too. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.